so what is needed what qualities one should have what preparation a candidate should make for interview that is what we are supposed to understand here under this topic so i told you that for developing speaking skills as this topic is under speaking skills to develop speaking skills what is important listening skill is important if you don't listen to the interviewer's questions well you will not be able to answer the questions correct so to develop the interview skills as speaking skills you must develop first listening skills to develop listening skills what is important listen carefully what the speaker is speaking try to understand not only the words but the meaning what the speaker is saying why the speaker is saying what the speaker now in interview questions and answers will be asked correct so you should also know how to prepare for interview i mean how to answer the questions i told you questions will be related to your family background educational qualifications okay your hobbies your interest correct so you should know so you should see they will be asking you questions based on the information provided in your bio data so you should also tell not only about your hobbies educational qualification you give personal information as well in bio data so that is important how you give information in bio data now you should not give any wrong information in your bio data because when they will be questioning you that time if you give the answers in such a way that they come to know you are giving wrong answers then you are caught that you have given wrong information to the employer or to the organization to your would be employer to your prospective employer you have given wrong information so never try to give wrong information in your bio data always give correct information when you are writing in exam it's different you can write as much as you want to because that time the aim is scoring marks but in real life don't give any wrong information in your bio data because wrong information given in the bio data will lead to rejection in real life if you are giving wrong information in your bio data in real life then it will lead to rejection you will not be selected but in exam you can write as much as you want there is nothing right and wrong as far as if the information is related to whatever the question is okay so you should see to it that you give correct personal information if you are giving any information you should give all information correctly related to your educational qualifications and hobbies interest professional qualification quality whatever you should not hide any information
Is it clear? Are you getting me? Now, if you give wrong information, then you are caught. So the, you will be rejected before even your interview gets over. So don't give wrong information to your prospective employer or organization in any way. It should be to the point, correct, relevant information. Now, when you are giving information related to your educational qualification, sometimes what happens, some student after 10th opt for science, then after two years, they come to know that they are not able to do science, then they switch over to arts or commerce. So that information also, I mean, indirectly, they come to know when you give educational qualification details that you have switched over from science to commerce or science to arts. Okay, so they can ask why you switched over from science to commerce or science to arts. So you should have a quite logical answer for that. So these type of questions, then they can get, even if you haven't given about your family background in your bio data, they may ask you questions about your family background. Okay, so you must know how to answer all those questions. Now, when you are speaking, it also shows your confidence whether you are really confident about whatever is being spoken by you or not. If you are not confident, you will maybe, you may be even stammering. Or you may be slow in speaking So your speaking skill will show your confidence even whether you are really confident when you are speaking something or if you are not confident, it will show. You will be uh, speaking very slowly, pausing for a long time and you will not be making eye contacts, okay? So when you are speaking during interview, you should be confident. You should try to make eye contact with the speaker. I'm trying to share the screen. Just see whether it's visible to you or not. Is it visible to you? Okay, so when we talk about interview skills, interview is a structured conversation. An interview is a structured conversation between the two, at least two persons are there. One is interviewer and one is interviewee. Interviewer is the person who asks questions and interviewee is the person who provides answers. So it is a structured conversation where one participants ask questions and the other provides answers. 
in common parlance the word interview refers to a one on one conversation between an interviewer and an interviewee the interviewer asks questions to which the interviewee responds usually providing information when it comes to interviews it's good to be prepared just like candidates spend time to research the company interviewer should be ready to evaluate candidate properly so it's not only the candidate who makes preparation for interview even the interviewer makes preparation they go through your bio data and prepare the questions what type of questions are to be asked on the basis of your uh, educational qualification professional qualification your abilities talents hobbies etc okay on the basis of your achievements so when it comes to interview okay both of them have to prepare interviewer as well as interviewee now interviewer can be a panel even in which more than one interviewer is there and they then they divide which question who will ask so whether a single interviewer is there or whether is a it's a panel group of interviewers are there who will be asking you questions you don't know so you have to prepare keeping in mind all such things even that it may be even one interviewer or it may be a group of interviewers okay remember now what type of questions can be asked now i told you interview can be physical face to face interview or nowadays it can be online even okay because everything has gone online so interviews are also conducted online i have appeared for online interviews as well and i i mean i experienced how to appear for an in online interview so when it comes to interviews it's good to be prepared not only by the interviewer but by the candidates also okay how would you reply to a negative online review about your company now they can also ask such type of questions that suppose you read about your company's online review and it is a negative online review so how you would reply to it leadership in what specific way do you motivate your team suppose you are a leader of a group how you will motivate your team remember interviewers and candidates are evaluating each other okay drawing now it's not that only it's not that only the candidates are evaluated by the interviewer even the candidates evaluate the interviewer that what type of interviewer it was whether the interviewer was strict kind okay cunning okay so both of them evaluate each other during interview on their part candidates will try to determine whether the job can fulfill their aspirations and whether the company is a good place for them to work so during interview when interviewer ask questions you can also ask them if you have any question in mind to provide information about job responsibility about the company about salary okay so when you come to know whatever questions you ask on the basis of the answers you will decide whether the company is a good place for you to work okay whether it will fulfill your desires aspirations whatever you want to do so they might uh, they might ask relevant questions which should you should be able to answer if you give pertinent transparent answers you will be able to create a better candidate experience and sell your company in a way that helps candidates decide if they are good fit okay so you will come to know when you if they give if they ask you questions okay what type of questions they will ask you i told you it may be related to family background it may be some personal information it may be 
about your educational qualification, professional qualification, your talent, abilities, achievement, hobbies, interest. Okay, if you have worked earlier anywhere, so they may ask questions related to work experience. Okay, if you haven't worked anywhere else, then also they may ask questions like how you will motivate your team and all. So you have to prepare all these questions in advance properly and how you are giving the answer creates an experience. Okay, not about you. It also creates an impression on the mind of interviewer. So when you are answering, you should be confident. Okay, you should make eye contact with the speaker, with the interviewer. Your body language should be proper. Your gesture and posture should be correct. Okay. How you are sitting also gives them indication whether you are confident or not, whether you are polite or not, whether you are arrogant or not. Okay. So all these things we need to keep in mind. Now... Uh, the interviewer will also talk to you about company strategy, mission, structure. Okay. What targets the company wants to achieve within one year, next one year, within next two years, three years, five years like this. So the team's projects, direction, goals, the perks and benefits tied to the position you will be hiring for. Okay. Now suppose you are appointed as a chief executive officer that is ceo so what will be your salary perks means salary allowances what benefits you are going to get okay and uh, any position whether you will get tra travel allowance whether you will get dearness allowance whether you will get transport service i'm just giving example so you they will inform you the next step of the hiring process, suppose you qualify the interview, then what will be their process of hiring you? What you like about your job and the team or company? Suppose if you have worked earlier in any other organization or somewhere, they may ask you, what did you like about your job there? Okay. Then they may also ask you why you left that particular job. What was the reason why you left the job? Okay. So... Uh, they may ask you questions if you have work experience if you have any work experience part-time full-time Okay, so they will give you they will ask you questions related to that they may ask you. So when they will be asking you questions related to your earlier job, okay, then even if you have left the job because of the uh, not very good work culture or not very good infrastructure full facilities or a you should not criticize your past organization as far as possible. You can talk about the uh, negative things also, but in such a way that it, it doesn't give them an impression that you are talking negatively. Okay. Never criticize your past organization or employer. Okay. 
whenever you are answering you should be confident okay your body language should be positive you should make eye contact with the listener with the panelist interviewer okay if you don't make eye contact it means you are nervous your gesture and posture facial expressions should be correct okay your voice will also tell whether you are confident or not okay if you are confident your voice will be strong if you are not confident your voice can also have friction okay so your confidence is not only reflected through your body language but your voice as well your volume okay your volume should be moderate a tone everything indicates your facial expressions body language okay gesture posture indicates your confidence is it clear so if you are not confident your body language will not be correct i mean either you will not make contact or you will be sitting with your head down so all this will give clear indication to interviewer that you are not confident okay if your voice is not strong if your volume is too long low okay that also gives the indication that you are not confident about so many things so what type of questions i told you the questions will be based on your work experience or it can be based on your educational qualification personal 
बैकग्राउंड फैमिली बैकग्राउंड ओके हॉबीज इंटरेस्ट प्रोफेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन वर्क एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑल ओके नाउ व्हाट प्रिपरेशन एज अ कैंडिडेट what you wear in interview is an absolutely crucial part of how to prepare for a job interview now your dress grooming counts a lot when you are going for an interview even if you are appearing for an online interview what you wear okay dress counts if you are a male you should wear casual if you are a female you can wear sari or salwar suit okay male as short trousers okay you can't wear a t-shirt for the interview okay that you have to keep in mind as a male or a female even okay even if you are wearing western outfits okay as female candidate you can't wear t-shirt after you choose your outfit make sure it is cleaned and pressed and have appropriate accessories and shoes to go with it accessories means if you are wearing shirt pant you may wear tie if you want to okay if you are wearing shirt pant trousers i mean you can't wear chappal you have to wear shoes okay as a woman candidate as a female candidate if you are wearing salwar suit or your sari you also need to see what type of footwear you wear okay it doesn't hurt to try the outfit ahead of time you can try the outfit yourself at home before the interview and see whether it fits you it suits you or not okay before you go for an interview now that you have this crucial step out of the way you can concentrate on the rest but only uh, focusing on the dress what you are going to wear the gent make you successful for interview or the job so you have to focus on other things as well okay when you greet in your interviewer you should greet with a friendly smile and firm handshake okay if you are not shaking hand okay suppose you are a female and you don't want to shake hand with the male interviewers or whatever you can fold your hands that is also one way you can but you should have a smiling face if you do this right you will set off the right energy and the chances of the interview going well will increase this is a small and simple step that you should always do to prepare for your interview means you should be if you are not smiling that also shows you may be nervous okay so you should greet the interviewer okay any work experience or skills you have listed on your resume are fair game to talk about during the interview so i told you that whatever you will be writing in your bio data on the basis of that they will ask you questions so it can be your personal information it can be your family related information it can be educational information it can be work experience related information or hobbies interest etc your resume is all the interviewer has to go by in order to get to know you they may pick things out from it and ask you to elaborate it okay even though you may have a previous job listed that was many years ago the interviewer may ask you to explain what you did at that job you are responsible for providing an answer so whatever information you are providing in your bio data resume curriculum vitae on the basis of that they will ask you questions and you it's your responsibility as a candidate to answer all those questions this is one step you absolutely won't want to skip on how to prepare for a job interview if you don't know what these are do your research and find out or see one of my other articles you would want to have what these are you would want to have your answers ready and practice them you should always be able to answer tell me about yourself or introduce yourself they may ask you questions like tell me about yourself or introduce yourself so you must know what is to be included in that introduction part or when they say 
tell about yourself. Okay. So you must know how to introduce yourself, how to tell about yourself. Now, when they will ask you introduce yourself or tell about yourself, so you will tell your name, you will tell your educational qualification, you will tell your professional qualification, you can tell about your talents, qualities, abilities, which make you different from others. Okay. See, when I appear for interview and I am asked to introduce yourself, then I say, I am so and so, I am Sharmila Jajodia, I am bilingual author, poet, critic, I have completed post-graduation in English literature, I have also completed uh, post-graduate certificate in teaching of English, I have qualified UGC test for lectureship, all this, okay? So, tell me about yourself means you have to introduce yourself. Why do you think you would be great for this job? They may ask you, why do you think that you should get this job? Why you are fit for this job? Okay. The employer doesn't know. So it's up to you to sell it. Now, there is one term which is, you, there is one abbreviation, USP. What is your unique selling point? Means what is the quality in you? that they will hire you for that particular job. So you have to sell yourself during interview. Selling doesn't mean that offering money or receiving money, okay, during interview. Means you have to tell about your qualities which make the interviewer understand or which make the interviewer feel that you are suitable for the job. Don't completely memorize your answers so they come out rehearsed, but have a clear idea of what you're going to say. Now, if you mug up the things, if you memorize the things and then they ask you certain question and then whatever you have thought in your mind, memorize in your mind, they will come to know whether you are saying out of understanding or whether you have memorized, mugged up the things. When you are asked, you want your answer to come out intelligently and naturally. So whenever they ask you any questions, you have to answer naturally and with intelligence. If you have memorized the things, you have marked up the things, okay, then they will come to know that you are uh, not telling things naturally. Be open to other questions as well and really know what you can offer to the company. Write down any questions you may have about either to any of the interviewer. So you can ask during the interview. If there are any requirement of the job that you are unsure of, you should definitely ask during the interview. If you think that you don't know something about the job, and you want to clarify certain things, you can ask during the interview. It always looks nice when you go into an interview with intelligent questions. It shows you put effort into preparing for the interview. However, never ask questions just to ask questions. Some people ask questions because they want to show that they are asking questions. So it shouldn't happen. If you are asking questions just to ask questions, it will create a bad impression. If you are really asking intelligent questions, logical questions, rational questions, which will show your intelligence and which will also show that you are curious to know things and you have made efforts to prepare for the interview. Have an, the interviewer will see right through that. Your question should be genuine and relevant. There are several common types of interviews, such as one-on-one -on -one group and behavioral interview. So one interviewer interviewing one candidate is known as one-on-one. -on -one. Group interview means the interview can be conducted even in the group through group discussion. Or behavioral interview can be also conducted. You shouldn't assume you will get a certain one. Don't be afraid to ask your recruiter what kind of interview we'll have if you don't know. The interview will be more beneficial to both parties if you are prepared. You can even ask what type of interview it will be. 
okay if you want to know allow enough time to get there and anticipate traffic so you need to be in time for the interview okay if suppose they have given you time 10 30 and it's offline interview face to face interview so you should be there by 10 15 or 10 20 and you should anticipate there may be traffic okay there may be some other obstacles unseen obstacles so start from home early so that you can appear for interview in time okay if you are getting late maybe they will not allow you to go inside for interview the interview room bring the phone number of your interviewer just in case you get lost or going to be late so if suppose things are beyond your control and you have got stuck somewhere or else, sometimes anything happen which is beyond your control any accident takes place any untoward incident takes place something like happens then you can you should have the contact number of the organization receptionist or somebody to whom you can inform follow these tips and you will successfully know how to prepare for a job interview interviewers can tell whether or not a candidate has prepared for it or not they will appreciate it if you did okay so through your body language through your language through your voice they will come to know whether you have prepared for interview well or not selection interview now uh, interviews are conducted for the course of study okay higher qualification professional courses interviews are conducted but interviews are conducted for job mainly which are known as selection interview selection interviews are typically conducted on site at the hiring company means offline interview face to face interview physical presence the purpose of a selection interview is to determine whether a candidate will be selected for the position he or she is interviewing for a selection interview is typically more rigorous than a screening interview. At this point, a company is trying to decide whether or not you should either be moved to the next step in the hiring process or an offer is going to be extended. So there will be more security than with a screening interview. The company wants to know, are you qualified for the job? Are you a good cultural fit? Can you make an immediate impact? or will you need extensive training questions will be more specific and your answers will need to be more detailed okay so they may ask you questions do you think that you are qualified for the job okay suppose you are going to another state okay another country then there is a question also of adjusting in that work culture so they may ask you question are you a good cultural fit like this can you make an immediate impact or will you need extensive training can you work without training or can do you need training all such type of questions can be also asked online interview now online interview because technology is playing a vital role nowadays and due to pandemic everything has become online interviews are also conducted online it was not that before pandemic interviews were not conducted online some companies used to conduct online interviews as well okay but not always skype they use skype google hangout okay they may use google meet zoom microsoft team nowadays so many platforms are there facebook okay then stream yard cisco webex Online interviews with candidates help hiring managers to save time when interviewers and candidates are in different locations. Okay, so you, if you want to, if you have applied for any foreign country or a company in a different state, so for online interview, you need not go to that particular country or to that particular state or to that particular location. Your interviewer and you maybe at different place, but through technology, you can connect, okay? 
to identify deal breakers during initial hiring stages to evaluate communication skills, particularly for roles where speaking abilities are key to clarify resume details and get to know candidates and to provide instructions for skill assessment as part of the interview process. Now, some jobs need good speaking skills. At, okay, for example, you are applying for receptionist post. So you must know how to attend call, how to answer the call, correct? Similarly, if you are, your speaking skills should be good, no? your communication skills should be good. But if you are applying for the job of a typist, where your typing skills will be more important, okay? If you are applying for the job of clerk, accountant, so your speaking skills don't count that much. But if you are in a sales department, okay, then your speaking skills count a lot. How you will uh, persuade the customers to purchase the product. Correct. So all these factors also affect, I mean, for which post you are applying, whether what qualities are needed. Okay, suppose you are applying for the post of accountant, then they will not see your speaking skills as much as they will see your skills of accounting. But during interview, at least you should be able to speak that much that to give them idea that you are good at accounting, no? Whatever questions are asked, you must be able to answer those questions. Then only they will be able to hire you. In senior positions, when you are, uh, you want to become manager, you want to become director, you want to become uh, chairperson, there you need to have good communication skills. Without communication skills, you will not be appointed. Even if you are from accounts department, suppose you don't have good communication skills. So you will not get highest position in big, big company like Aditya Birla Group, Tata Group, okay? So spoken skills, speaking skills count a lot. Okay, I'm ending the lecture here. We will do next time further.